Hi, this is Ajay. Uh, yesterday, I had this opportunity to meet and ask a few questions to Minister Rajiv Chandrasekhar, who is a Minister of State for IT, Electronics, uh, Skill Development and Entrepreneurship. I asked him two questions. One was being a Minister for Entrepreneurship and being an entrepreneur himself and someone who is originally from Kerala. What can the Kerala entrepreneurs can expect from him? Number two, I asked, there are a lot of startups across the country and, you know, com companies or startups that registered in one country. Why don't we have a system where companies registered in Kerala can go to Karnataka and work? And similarly, the companies registered in Karnataka or Mumbai or Delhi, you name it, you know, come, come here and work. So we can have a, a, an open ecosystem where without any any clerical work or without any documentation, companies can roam around and they can uh, work from different hubs. So similarly in Kerala, we have uh, Kerala Startup Mission and in Telangana, there is T-Hub and then there is K-Tech in Karnataka. So why don't we have a system like this where without any much clerical work, people can roam around and you know work. So this was two questions I asked and uh, he's a very um, brilliant person. I truly respect him. And uh, below, are, these are the answers uh, that he uh, he gave to us. If you ask me what I can do for the Kerala entrepreneur, I want to do as much as I can. So the, actually, I will throw the question back at you and say, what do the Kerala entrepreneurs want from me to be successful? You need to decide. Uh, it, it is bothering me that when there are unicorns in Hyderabad and Bangalore and Pune and Delhi and Gurugram and Noida, why there are no unicorns in Kerala? It is an issue. I mean, I mean, I'm not losing sleep on it, but it is a thing that bothers me. And so if there is anything I can do, uh, I'm 100% 24-7 available to do that. But you have to be clear about what you want from me. I'm no, I'm no magician and I can't do uh, magic. On the second point, I think this is a very good idea. And I will tell STPI, which is the organization that is mandated to build startups in our ministry, to work with uh, CDAC and others. Because I'll tell you one of the reasons why I think this is an important point that you make. When I spent Diwali with startups in Bengaluru, they asked me about, they were complaining about how they cannot get meetings with ISRO, they cannot get meetings with Bell, they can't get meetings with HAL, even though they had prop solutions for them. So I have mandated that every two months there would be a meeting, a coffee, tea, laddu, whatever session, where the public sector units Ministries of government would have interactions with startups. This I am doing in Bangalore. Of course, I don't have HL in, in Kerala. So I will tell STPI to basically invite all startups all around the country to when they have these sessions in Bangalore. When they have the sessions in Hyderabad, they'll have to invite all of you to do that. But in terms of fungibility of working as a startup in T Hub. Now that is a state government issue. T-Hub is run by the state government. That is an arrangement between Kerala government and the Andhra government. They should have some sort of a whatever roaming arrangement for entrepreneurship. And I am happy to tell STPA to take the initiative, but it will require state governments to, to dance together. Yeah. Are you